What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Manny coming at you guys with a review of some 5D black shorty levers for a Ninja 636 years 2013 to 2018. Let's get these out of the box so we can get a quick look at them. Now I am not sponsored or being paid or it is this product sent to me for free. I bought these with my own money and I'm just doing the review of them. Just showing you guys there's options. They're very expensive. Just as good as quality. When you guys are on the bike. But you guys are on the bike. Here they are. Now they feel very light. Very light. Straight up before you have We got the brake, we got the clutch, and we can tell which one's which, because obviously, you can see the clutch has a little perch there for, for, you, to put it, for you to put in the uh, clutch cable, and the brake lever has this little slot there for the pin. Now there are some videos out there of some uh, aftermarket um, brake levers and clutch levers they are not giving them a fair shot, but I do understand what they're saying. When you get them, you want to get something small, like a small screwdriver or something, something similar, and you guys want to put it inside right here. And you guys want to make, make sure that this thing moves freely. Because when you get them installed, you want to make sure that there is nothing binding this this thing right here. So I'm gonna put a link in the in the description of where I got them. There are six adjustable positions. They move very good. Really, nothing bad. They come really, they come lubed up. You can be able to see. I don't, I don't think the camera's gonna be able to catch it, but they come lubed up. Now, I'm not sure after a lot of use and stuff like that how how well this paint is gonna hold. But once I get it installed on the bike and give them the everyday use. Now I did put these on the scale. They weigh 9.8 ounces. And as you can see, they weigh 9.8 ounces. Now if you compare these to the warm tech, which they weigh 0.75 ounces. For the price, which you know in compare to the warm tech, these are going to cost you 25 dollars. And the warm tech are $116. Is the quality the same? Now one of the biggest complaints about people when they get aftermarket low budget uh, levers is that they, they rattle, they move. Now when I got them, they did they, they did move a little, they did rattle a little bit. So what I did is I just went and got an Allen wrench. And a piece of plier, held that there a little bit and just tied it down a little bit. You don't want to tie it down too much because then it's just going to remove some of the free play here. You don't want to do that. I had to do that on both of them. And as you can see, there is no movement. Now, again, once I get them installed, I'm just going to be able to tell it. They, uh, they get way too loose. 
should have been spent on a higher end plan uh, levers. But I like them. I like how they feel. I like how really how light they are. I really like. And because my name is white and green. White. Pretty, pretty similar looking as far as like design and style and stuff like that. I yet to uh, get my hands on actually one of the one tech to get a feel to know the real difference between them. Hey, if anybody's watching, you selling those one tech or any similar uh, levers, they would like for me to do a review and compare them with these. Get in contact with me on my channel. I'm only really happy to. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing a, a how to install these on the bike. So stay tuned. There's more to come. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.